Hey everybody, happy Sunday from Buenos Aires. Uh, this blog I'm going to talk about uh, when I went to go see um, a movie about a month ago. And I forgot about this story, but I was talking with Lisa um, and it kind of fit and it's kind of funny. So I thought I'd share it with the rest of you. Uh, so I went to the movie theater. Um, they're, they're all over the place near my house in the part of town I live in. But I went to... Uh, I think one of the nicest ones. It's actually the nicest movie theater I've ever been to. The seats are extremely comfortable. Um, never been anything like it. And one thing that's different, most of the movie theaters down here are assigned seating. So um, you get your ticket, and when you pay for your ticket, uh, you figure out which seat you're going to sit in uh, right then. Uh, so anyway, um, we went to go see The Golden Compass, the one with uh, Nicole Kidman and Daniel Craig. Uh, has a big polar bear on the posters. And um, when the movie started, the trajectory was down a little bit, so that um, slat about uh, bottom, well, that's not going to help. The bottom part of the screen was cut off, basically, um, a little bit. And uh, as, as the movie started, people were getting a little annoyed, and so was I, because um, it made it hard to concentrate um, on the movie. But uh, one thing that I was noticing was that a lot of people were getting up to complain. And um, usually in the United States, uh, when there's like something in a group setting like that, people just kind of sit there, they kind of look around a little bit, see if anybody else is going to do it, maybe start to motion like they're getting up and uh, slowly move. And then um, the second somebody finally has the bravery to get up to go say something, then everyone else kind of sits back and relax, because somebody's going to take care of it. Um, and I was noticing quite, uh, well, first, um, I was talking to Lisa about this, and uh, she said that in her time in Japan that um, in cases like that, people just might sit through the entire thing and not complain at all um, that the screen is off a little bit. Uh, whereas what I was noticing here in this movie was that people um, seemed to be really annoyed by it. it. It really was bothering them that the screen was off a little bit. Um, it was bothering me too, but I, I, um, but I did the America thing where I saw somebody get up and do something, so uh, I just kind of waited and assumed it would be fixed uh, soon enough. But what the thing that I noticed was that a lot of people started getting up. It wasn't just one person. They would see one person, but then they would go with them. And then, like five seconds later, another person would get up. And finally, I could hear outside the door, they were talking to somebody, and there was probably a group of like 20 people from in the movie um, to go complain about it. And I was like, wow, they, they're really just not standing for this. The screen is off a little bit. Um, <laughs> I'm like, well, I guess the, I guess the Argentines just are, um, they want things their way. And if things aren't going to be that way, then they're going to complain about it. They're very, um, they're very assertive about what they want. Um, <laughs> and it didn't hit me. Um, <laughs> until I looked over at Ariel, and we were kind of talking about it, but we, I don't know, I guess we really didn't get to the heat of the matter, but I guess the main reason why they were really upset is because the subtitles were cut off and they couldn't see a damn thing. <laughs> so, um, I guess it wasn't just that the Argentines are more sort of, they really couldn't watch the movie because the subtitles were completely cut off. Um, so, there was me just making some assumption about the entire Argentine culture, about them just being very assertive, and yeah, they're just not going to stand for it, or really. Um, no, the subtitles were completely cut off, and they didn't know what the hell was going on, whereas I was just sitting there, and I'm like, oh, everything's fine, I can hear them speak in English, I could understand everything. They couldn't. So they were complaining. Um, yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that story. Uh, if not, sorry. Bye-bye.